Hi guys, this is Kefren, your favorite French-Canadian. Today I'm going to do a small video on the new OBS 23. Uh, they completely revamped the uh, NVEC uh, module in it. Uh, it's pretty amazing. As you can see here in my uh, NVIDIA did this slide, uh, they were using like uh, an Intel 8700K with an RTX 2080 Ti. They're comparing uh, the IT, FPS IT that you're losing when you're streaming with the CPU, uh, like a X264 fast preset versus very fast, and also the CPU utilization. Before with the old OBS, or even if you're using Streamlab, um, you're getting the old NVEC, and uh, you were losing about 11% of your FPS, and the utilization of your CPU was about to 2.3%. Now with the new one, you're just losing 4%, so you have a huge improvement as you can see and you have less CPU utilization. So that's pretty amazing for this update. Also, you need less bitrate to have like a better quality image. Uh, I remember back in the days when the maximum on Twitch was 3,500. Uh, nobody was streaming with their uh, GPU because you the, the, the quality was pretty shitty, honestly. It's a bit like QuickSync. So uh, everybody was streaming with the CPU. But now, honestly, it's pretty amazing what they did with the new release. So definitely, you should look at it. Here's an example that NVIDIA provide on their website. Uh, X2064 Fast versus RTX. It's pretty amazing because Fast is it's a good preset, honestly. Uh, I don't know a lot of people who streaming it with a medium preset because it's taking a lot of resources. So if you're playing games like, uh, I don't know, PUBG, Apex, uh, Blackout 4, those games are pretty uh, CPU intensive. So uh, that's pretty huge for uh, NVIDIA, honestly. And at the end, last slide, um, this is uh, what NVIDIA recommend, the bitrate versus the resolution that you will send and the frame rate, and also depending on your upload speed uh, on your video card. Before going on the OBS, very important to, to tell you guys, if you have a GTX car, so 700 and more, 700 series, 800 or 900, and even the 1000 series, you will get about a 15% improvement just the way they uh, they change the NVEC, uh, they don't go uh, in the RAM now. They're just using the video card with the VRAM. You're taking less resources. It's more, it's faster like that. And if you have an RTX card, you will get uh, a lot, a better result. You will get the 15% because of OBS and also because you have a physical hardware encoder that's better than the old GTX card. You will get approximately another 15% and a couple options that you can check in the um, OBS 23 uh, to improve your image quality. So now let's go in OBS. So now we are in OBS. So first of all, I will not show all the new feature that OBS to, uh, 23 uh, um, give you, but we will talk more about NVEC, uh, how to stream, how to have a good quality with the new encoder and stuff. So let's start with the settings. So first of all, um, in stream, just a cool feature, connect your account and now you can have like your chat in OBS. You don't have to add like stream element. And also you don't have to take your uh, stream key and put it over there. You can just connect your account and everything will, uh, will automatically set up your uh, Twitch account. After that, go to output, make sure that you're choosing advanced here in the output mode. And for the encoder, make sure that you're choosing the new one, the NVEC with the new here. After that, uh, you can check and for streaming service encoder setting if you want. Um, this will prevent if you messed up uh, a setting, it will force um, the proper setting for Twitch. So OBS will send whatever Twitch needs to, to stream. So if you uh, messed up something else, uh, OBS will uh, do the correction for you. Rate control. Uh, make sure that you're using CBR if you're streaming on Twitch. I think it's pretty much the same thing on YouTube. Uh, the bitrate I'm using 6000, uh, you can look at the previous picture that I showed, depending on your upload speed, resolution, FPS, uh, you will have to determine which uh, bitrate you will use. Keyframe interval for Twitch use 2. After that, the preset. Now you have a lot of different preset quality. Me, I'm using quality, I will, I will explain you why. If you're using quality, you're just using the encoder on your video card. If you're using max quality, you will use the CUDA core on your video card. In my case, with my RTX 2070, when I play a game like Apex Legion or even Blackout, uh, the 
I don't have the G my percentage of usage on, on my GPU when I play this game is 100%. So when I use a setting like that with max quality, we need my video card to uh, do the streaming. Uh, I'm getting overdue encoder, uh, blah, blah, blah. So uh, really important here, go with quality. Make Do your test, but if you have issue with your encoder and you're seeing a message, overdue encoding, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what is the rest. That's why I'm saying blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Just put uh, the quality preset. For profile, make sure that you're using I. After that, you have the look ahead. Uh, look ahead it will uh, change dynamically your max B frame. So if you're putting four here, it will go zero to four dynamically. Again, it's using your CUDA core. So you need place on your video card to use that. Uh, in my case, it didn't work. Same thing with psycho visual tuning. It's improving your uh, image quality. It's really you have some reduction of your artifact and stuff like that. Uh, same thing. It's using the CUDA core on your video card. So if you don't have the, the place for the usage, uh, you can uncheck uh, this one. Uh, what you can do if you're um, having issue with your uh, GPU um, usage, you can lock your FPS if you want. If you lock your FPS, for example, I don't know at 80. Uh, you can make sure that you have uh, space on your GPU to stream. After that, the GPU, make sure that you're putting this one at zero. And the max B frame, put this one at two. If you're playing a game like Hearthstone or, you know, a very slow game, you can put uh, four here. After that, for video, my base resolution is 1080p, but I'm streaming in 720p. I think this is the best setup, honestly. 720p with 60fps when you're using 6000 bitrate because uh, you're losing too much uh, image quality with the 1080p uh, at 6,000 um, uh, bit rates. For the downscale filter, I really need a good uh, downscale one because I'm downscaling my resolution. I'm using the last one. Again, this one touch your GPU. So uh, if you have, a, again, a problem with your encoder here, uh, this will, if you go with Bucunic, you will save approximately uh, 5% on your GPU resources. So really important if you have issue, just go lower a bit over here. So that's about it. After that, go to advanced, process priority, make sure that using normal, uh, direct 3D 11, NV12 for color format. Uh, normally, all those parameters should be good at default. Color space at 601 and the color range at partial. Make sure you press OK. So that's about it with your setting. Now you can start streaming with uh, no issue. Uh, again, if you have like, uh, I don't know, you're playing with a 60 Hertz screen, definitely use the new setting, tested it like psycho visual tuning and even the look ahead. But uh, if you're playing high refresh rate and when you're playing, you see that your uh, video card is always at 99, 99 uh, uh, percentage of usage, you will probably have some struggle with those post processing using the CUDA cores. So that's about it guys, if you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section, post me your rig if you have any issue like CPU, RAM and GPU, I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace!